What's up, Otaku? This is your tour guide here. And, uh, boy, we bought a lot of comics. Now, I just finished the haul, and I thought I would, you know, kind of chill on comic buying for a while, uh, kind of reset in August. But, um, and I told you, I, I picked up a few more comics even after that big haul, or, you know, prior to the, uh, last haul. I saw a comic uh, on Macari. It was for sale and I kind of studied the the seller. He wasn't really a comics person. It was like he only was selling two comics out of his whole shop. His entire shop was focused on like Star Wars cards, Star Wars figures, a lot of toys. Um, a lot of DVDs, just kind of knickknacks here and there. So you could tell it was just a, a guy who's just kind of collecting. It looked like he was trying to get rid of a lot of his uh, collection and stuff. And he had this comic that, that when I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, that's such a good deal. But I, I wanted to go even further, so I wanted to kind of send him an, an offer. And I kind of, I figured, you know what, let's, let's play to, you know, Let's play um, to his uh, sensibilities and kind of just explain, hey, you know, I don't have much of a budget, um, but I really want this comic. So that was the first part of trying to get this book. The second part was convincing my wife to advance me basically my monthly uh, budget for comics, about $30 a month. Uh, to a lot a budget out to four months um, and that would allow me to get actually five months it would be right that would allow me to get the, the package so basically I'm not going to be able to buy anything I have like zero budget until January of next year um, and included in that uh, advancement so I got that big book and I also got this um, uh, this half price books bundle for ten dollars. Now um, I cheated and knew what some of the books that were in here because I kind of peeked through. But when I saw those books, I was like, you know what? Let's get it. So um, I already opened this, but we're gonna open it again and go through it like like we uh, just had, you know, like it's a baseball card pack. So you'll see what I got from this ten dollar bundle and. Uh, you know, we'll see. So, um, let's just go over the haul. Okay, just some, basically, um, if we go over the haul, I, um, picked up 37 books. That's a lot of books. <laughs> I just couldn't kind of, I mean, this stack right here is a majority of them. But, again, we were going to have price books and finding, I, I just could not leave them at the store. And so, again, um, 39 books, we spent uh, $182 on 39 books, okay? Um, and that includes this big one. That includes this big one. So really, if you subtract out the big one, the, the one I spent after shipping and tax, about $150 on. Um, I spent basically about $30 on uh, 36 books. So that works out to just under a dollar for those books and then the big one I spent a lot on. Um, but either way, we ended up spending about $4.90 per book on this haul, $4.90 per book. Um, for a 37 book haul and the value we got we and this is this is our biggest value comic haul yet and, and quite substantial because normally when you get this kind of value we're talking about a comic book haul that's very limited in number right like if you pick up five books and they're all like you know 20 20 book 20 dollar books or 30 dollar books or if you get a hundred dollar book in, in a five book haul that'll put you over real quick, right? In terms of the value. But 37 books to get $20 worth of value 
from 37 book a set 37 book haul that's what we got we had a 20 dollar value per book from this haul um and it's 37 books that's a big haul so we're gonna go over all 37 books right now this is probably this is probably gonna be a long video i want it to be one video i don't want to break it up Okay, so I did a lot of impulse buying on this, as you know. Uh, I kind of went over the limit of my budget this month. I extended myself into next month's budget for a lot of these half price book pickups. And then for the big book, I just told my wife, look, just give me an, an advance through next year and uh, I won't buy comics. And um, she agreed. So uh, basically, I kind of blew my wad on the entire year's budget on this one book. We're going to do a live up, 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 unboxing on this book. So this is what kind of... Uh, anyway, basically, yeah, I blew my entire year's budget. Uh, I got an advance from my wife because I, again, this kind of book doesn't come around at this price. And I just saw an opportunity and I took it and I got a great deal. So no regrets on that book. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I figured, okay, so since I have the years, I had like some money left over. I went to half price books and we actually picked up some more books now. Um, got this great Vertigo uh, this book here. Let's see if I can fo focus. It's Vertigo number pre. Uh, so Vertigo Preview One. And uh, yeah, Vertigo Preview Number One. Um, this is a book. It's kind of like Marvel Age. Um, but for Vertigo. Now, as you know, Vertigo was just getting going. Um, this is this came out in January of 1993 or 94, 93. January 1993, Vertigo was just getting going. They had some titles, and this is, again, just a, a preview issue, the number one. But, um, yeah, January 93, uh, here are some of the titles that were coming out. We had Sandman number 47, Animal, Animal Man 57, Swamp Thing 129, Doom Patrol 64, Death the High Cost of Living number 1, Enigma 1, Shade the Changing Man number 33, and Hellblazer number 63. So these were uh, the vertical titles. This is just a great wraparound cover as well. Um, I just think... You know, this is just, uh, Ver Vertigo is such a great uh, history with so many great books. Um, and so this kind of, uh, anyway, I just saw a lot of value in, in a collectible like this, um, Vertigo preview number one. We have um, half price books of Batman comic bundle. Now, they had... Uh, Half Price Books had some of these bundles out. They had another Batman bundle there. Um, they, 
had three Batman bundles. They had a Marvel Tales Spider-Man bundle as well for $8. And then they had a Daredevil bundle for $20. Now, I want to get that Daredevil bundle, but for $20, I was like, Ugh. And there's only one, really one key book that I could kind of glean from looking through, through these, because it's wrapped. I couldn't take them out or do anything. But I could kind of separate and look in between and see what the issues were. And there wasn't anything key uh, in the Daredevil bundle except one issue that we've been really meaning to pick up. But uh, I figure we leave that in the in the bargain bin long enough. They'll drop it down to ten. And when they go, when it goes down in price, I'll pick it up. So hopefully that's uh, I'll have money when that happens. <laughs> Um, okay, I gotta remind myself, no more comics. Basically, this is the last haul of the year. Uh, and it's only July. Uh, July going on August. But anyway, we're gonna open this up like... So I already know, I already opened it up. Um, and I know what comics are in here. But I'm gonna go over the books that I got and open it up just like we were opening up like a, a pack of baseball cards. Okay, so we'll start here with the first couple of books here um, now I just stuffed some of these were went in this bundle some of them were raw comics some of them were um, in bags and boards um, the ones that are raw comics and the ones that weren't worth much I just kind of stuffed in we got this uh, Batman 89 uh, four of six modern comic not worth much we also got a Batman the Detective, five of six. Uh, not worth very much. The other one we got in this one is um, we got a Batman, a Batman Legends of the Dark Knight eighty one. That's that's here. It's behind this book here. So I'm not gonna get them all out because they're not anything. They're not really comics that are worth anything, and it's Batman vs. Ra's al Ghul, it's a six issue miniseries, penciled by Adams, great cover, um, Batman looking like some kind of warrior devil there, versus Ra's al Ghul, um, I thought it was a neat cover, and uh, in this Batman lot was something just completely random. Um, but glad it was in there. Um, it was an amazing Spider-Man 374. Nothing key about this issue. Um, just a Mark Bagley Venom, great Mark Bagley Venom cover. Um, and again, so um, this bundle had uh, exactly 12 books. Um, for ten dollars, well, eleven dollars plus tax, so but it's just a little under a dollar per book. Now, that would make normally a book like this, I wouldn't pick it up if it was a dollar, but um, you know, again, uh, we'll, we're gonna get to what's in the bundle. There are some uh, pretty valuable books in here. I put the grade at about um, probably like an eight. Uh, it's Batman 500. Nothing special about this book. Again, it was just part of the bundle. Um, up until now, I don't think there was just a lot of value out of this bundle. Uh, again, I wouldn't pay a dollar for any of these books. This is a book that I probably would pay a dollar for, but it's it's a really it needs, it's in desperate need of a press, as you, I don't know if you can tell, you probably can't tell through the plastic, but there's like, just like a bend right there. Not color breaking or anything like that, not a crease, just a really bad bend all along there. And they're just spine ticks up and down. But this is um, All-Star Batman. This is a collab between Frank Miller who wrote the with this um, series and Jim Lee who drew it and this is the I believe 
third of four variant covers on this uh, all-star Batman and Robin. Um, I love the art in this book for obvious reasons, but what's great about this is the interior is all sketched. Look at that. That's a sketch. So this is a special sketch. Um, and, and you know, Jim Lee Comics do this from time to time. They did this for... Um, and look, they got all the scripts in here as well, like the notes for the issue. So this is a special edition one. It's got this, these great sketches with the notes in the comic book. Just really gives you an idea how they went about this book. Um, the story, you know, the, the uh, scripting, the paneling, the notes. Again, just great stuff. So this is really, um, for me, like a great pickup. As you know, like, I'm always like looking for a great Jim Lee books. But um, again, I just wish the condition were a little better. It's in desperate need of a, of a press and maybe we'll do that. Or maybe we'll get it like a, a high grade copy of this cover at some point. But uh, just very happy with this pickup. So this is, a dollar well spent on this book. It's, I want to say it's uh, Tim Drake. Yeah, this is Tim Drake. And, uh, right, Tim Drake is Robin. This is when he become, puts on Don's the, the Robin suit. He becomes Robin after Dick Grayson. Actually, I would have paid a dollar. Um, a high grade copy for, uh, definitely would have picked up for a dollar. This one is about, I would say, an A5. Um, it's got some spine ticks. Overall, just it's got a little crinkle in the corner there, just a minor, minor little bend, but everything else looks pretty good. So, I'll put this in the high grade. Uh, so, Batman Year 3, Batman 437. The second part of the year three. Okay, moving on. Now we're going to get to sort of the, the heavy hitters in this bundle. And uh, again, we spent $10. So up to now, we've spent a dollar per book. And uh, this is a, a really cool book that I picked up. Um, this is... Uh, for those of you who watched uh, Batman the Animated Series, you know it, it was... Um, it was just a really popular series through the, f the first season or so, and then they went ahead and made a full feature movie, and this is the official comics ad adaptation of that Warner Brothers animated feature film, which is Mask of the Phantasm, and it's, you got this great uh, cover with the Joker. Um, anyway, this is the first sort of animated movie comic. Uh, that's a $9 value. Uh, really good condition. Um, there are a few bends. This needs a press for sure. It's a square bound book. So there's a there's a slight kind of bend there along the, the spine, but um, nothing color breaking, no spine ticks. Um, just kind of probably needs a, a nice square bound press and uh, yeah the corners are sharp I agree copy let's pick this up again nine dollars so with this nine dollar book we essentially got value out of the bundle from what we picked up so far so everything from here on is sort of like just a plus and yeah uh, we picked up some good stuff like stuff uh, I was happy to get um, we've got Batman 340, Bronze Age Batman here. Again, this is, I put this in the, like an 80, uh, probably an 80 grade. Nice to pick that up. We picked up 341. These are both great Jim Aparo covers. Bronze Age goodness here. So 340 and 341. 
But this is the big one. This is the uh, first appearance of Killer Croc. And uh, great uh, villain, you know, just a villain's cover here. You got Joker, Penguin, Riddler. It's like a square pro, scarecrow. Some other people there, but I just love this cover. How the the trade desk just pops. Um, so this is a big book. This is like a twenty dollar book. First appearance of Killer Croc, and it's really the grade is really nice. I mean, like like the spine. If you look at the spine, there are really no no spine ticks there. Um, Corners are sharp. It's vibrant looking. This this uh, is again twenty dollar book. This more than makes up for all the other stuff we got in the bundle. So um, yeah, some Bronze Age books and uh, this Batman animated. I think we made our value back out of this uh, bundle. But wait, but wait. We're not done. This is the book. This is the reason why I got the bundle in the first place. And the reason I was able to. So if you notice here on the spine, you can read. So in this bag, I was able to look through it. And I saw uh, the spine. So I was like, oh, I got to get this. Um, and I was hoping that we'd get some good stuff out of it. And we did. Luckily, we did. Um, again, this is like a $10 book, but it's, it's hot. This is about as hot as you can get right now because um, Jim Lee, Todd McFarlane, and Greg Capullo announced they're coming out with another Spawn Batman. Uh, and this is a, a... Now, so this book came out back in... What was it? 1992? 92 or 93 when it is when this book came out. And everybody remembers this crossover. Uh, this was just, this cover is just amazing. Uh, it was a, one of those like epic moments. Frank Miller, Todd McFarlane, wow. DC had an issue, Image put out an issue. This is the Image cover here. Todd did the Image cover, just a beautiful cover. Now, there is one, so uh, you probably saw my hairdryer in the background there, right? So I've been waiting to kind of show off this video or show up this book and do the video before I got to uh, you know what the you know what, what it means when we um, get the hair dryer out right I have to take that some kind of sticker off now um, this is a unique sticker in that it's not our usual you know half price books uh, 25 cents sticker what it is is it's the original Borders, I don't know if you can see here, Borders price sticker. And uh, as you can see, it's a cover price. So this thing, this sticker has been on here, I want to say for, oh, has a date right here. It's uh, a graphic novel that they were selling in 1998. So this might be a second print. No, they didn't, they didn't do a second print for these. This is a first print. Just was the, the dates just for 98. So this sticker we do have to get off. That's a problematic thing. Now, in terms of the grade, the grade itself is not great either. As you can see, there's some, just some, I guess, wear or rubbing, like scratches, all on the back of the book. Also on the front of the book, there's some just indentations. Um, you can see it right there. There's some bends, indentations. But what, and then this corner, there's a crunch there in the corner. That's not a good corner right there. It's a crunch. But um, other than that, the, the big thing is, what we don't want to see is, this is a square bound book. You don't want to see that bend in the spine and this one doesn't have it so whoever bought this book was a collector and didn't read it and just you know did not open it so that's that's a real good sign um, 
in this book, again, it's not high grade, but at the same time, um, I think it would grade. I would put this at a solid 7.5. Yeah, because the spine is really clean. That's what you're looking for in a, in a square bound book. The spine is really clean. Again, assuming we get that sticker off without issues, this is just a great pickup. A great pickup. Love it. Okay, so this bundle ended up being really, really nice. We got a lot of value out of it. Um, I would put the value just from these, from these uh, five books. Just from these five books alone, I would put the value of well over, you know, like around fifty dollar value in terms of what we got. So happy, happy, happy. All right, this one for half a cover. Uh, picked it up for about a dollar, dollar fifty or so. Yeah, dollar fifty. And um, this is a key issue. It's uh, Batman uh, seventy seven. This is where Bane breaks Alfred's neck. The death of Alfred. We have uh, this great Frank Miller cover, Black Batman, Black and White, and this one we also picked up for half cover, which is about a dollar fifty. Um, I love this Black and White series. Uh, Jim Lee did the first book, number one, so we're still looking to pick that one up. But um, just great artwork by Frank Miller there. He does a great Batman. And this will not be the end of Frank Miller. We've got some more stuff coming up down, just to give you a heads up. Now, as you know, I picked up um, this book for $2 in my last haul. But I was able to pick this up for a quarter. Yes, a quarter. It was in the, it was in the uh, 25 cent bargain bin and the cup and the condition was actually as good as that two dollar book I picked up so now I have two copies of 16 just picked up this one another cover of this one this is us the last uh, book McFarland did on spider-man so it is significant it's also a, a landscape cover uh, yeah so I picked up the one issue for two picked up the second for 20, uh, 25 cents so now I have two copies of it, right? This one uh, is also something I just picked up because of it, because of its. Um, this is the Death of Sinestro, which is a key, and um, this is about a ten fifteen dollar value. Picked this up for uh, half cover, which uh, is about a dollar fifty. Uh, newsstand copy, Batman Detective Comics 604, uh, The Mud Pack, Part 1 of 4. Um, now, Alan Grant, uh, you know, we received some sad news uh, this month, uh, last week actually, last week. And, uh, you know, Alan Grant passed away and Alan Grant I didn't know this but uh, he actually was the one that gave um, Alan Moore his start at DC Comics so um, yeah just uh, another you know uh, writer from the UK did a lot of work in comics he worked in Lo he worked on Lobo he worked on this series of Batman and detective comics great great stories um, but yeah, I mean, this is a, a book I picked up, you know, just even prior to, to learning of his passing, just happened to be in the stack, so, um, again, uh, pay, uh, paying some tribute to Alan Grant, and, um, just, uh, sending my condolences to, to his family, uh, it was a, it's a big loss for the community. All right, so, um. Yeah, I'll pick this one up for half of cover, which is 50 cents. So, Ethan at Destiny City Comics is just a great shop owner. They have a wonderful shop out there. Just, uh, you know, just a beautiful shop. It's 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 uh, 
right in downtown Tacoma. They've got a great selection of comics, a great selection of graphic novels, great selection of manga, some toys, everything you, you just, as a collector, you'd want. And so um, I dropped in there because, and we'll get to the book I dropped in there for, but basically I went in there thinking the book was a certain price. Great price, by the way. But it actually ended up being cheaper. So I was like, oh, if it's that cheap, I'm going to just kind of dig through your dollar bins and, and pick some more stuff up. And so we were able to do that. Um, this is one of the books I picked up. Got it for a dollar. Um, not, nothing key. Again, I was in a rush. So I was just kind of digging through and I was just picking out whatever caught my eye. This great uh, Kingpin cover caught my eye. Punisher number 16. Um, it's a new stand edition. Wells Portacio cover, early 19, what is this, 19, looks like it's, anyway, it's a late 80s, early 90s book, um, not really worth much, just picked it up for a dollar though. Um, next we picked up, this one was pretty cool, uh, picked this one up for 25 cents. This is uh, X Factor uh, 38. This is the death of Madeline Pryor. Uh, nice cover here. This is a Walt Simonson cover. And uh, again, just a, a beautiful cover there of Pryor versus Jean Grey. X-Men 218 and this is a great Art Adams cover just love um, the work he did on this one uh, this features Longshot okay so he's he's the guy he's Art Adams created Longshot so just any kind of cover featuring Longshot by Art Adams is, is pretty key but you've also got these great uh, uh, female team members here, Rogue, Dazzler, and uh, Psylocke, the old school Psylocke. There. This is another book we picked up for half a cover, 50 cents. This is um, the first cover appearance of Forge. It's a Barry Windsor Smith cover, beautiful cover. I love the color on this. Um, but yeah, uh, we know Forge is coming to the MCU, so this is just a nice little pick up for 50 cents. Uh, always wanted to add that. I also want to add the, the first Forge if it ever comes around. This is a book also I just couldn't pass up. Um, great Optimus Prime cover here. Transformers number 12. Picked it up for 38 cents. Um, yeah, can't say no to that. I do want to pick up Transformers number 1 and G.I. Joe number 1. Those are definitely on my you know want lists and comics that I need to get, so let's pick that one up. Wonder Woman 11, uh, got this for, got this for 50 cents, no, I got for, th yeah, I got this for 38 cents, or I have a cover, so um, anytime you can pick up uh, George Perez, again, I'm trying to pick up this entire run of Wonder Woman, and I'm trying to do it in this manner where we're picking it up for like either a dollar or, or under um, and I got this for 38 cents that's that's just it now it's not it's not the high grade copy that uh, but again just uh, just to have as a PC book is fine they've got it's got spine ticks I put the grade around 880 grade uh, we got this for 25 cents half a cover and this is All Star Squadron number one, and I think um, you know, Mint Hunter just went over like the first appearance of All Star Squadron. It's in like Justice League something, and that's a, like a hugely undervalued book. It's it actually uh, it's under this value as well, um, which is the first sort of soul series of. All-Star Squadron. So the first appearance is still highly undervalued. I would 
recommend going out and getting that if you can find it. Um, but I was able to pick this one up. This is uh, probably like a $10 book. Picked it up for 25 cents. Again, key issue, All-Star Squadron number one. I cover there. This is a key. It's the last Detective Comics uh, volume before they went to a different format. Eventually, they, the legacy run numbering came back, but it took a few years before it returned. So this was, for all intents and purposes back then, uh, announced as the last Batman Detective Comics. They discontinued the run. Um, and this is just a wonderful job cover of Batman punching some, some guy and his glasses falling off. So uh, uh, this great cover as well. Comics 873. I think this cover, this jock cover is just a better cover. Um, pick this one up for a dollar fifty. Yeah, I'll pick this one up for a dollar fifty. Again, hundred and fifty dollars of the hundred eighty-two dollars we spent on this haul uh, are from one book. So essentially, everything you see in this haul, we spend about thirty bucks. Maybe 30 to 32 bucks for the entire haul. And so, up until now, you're probably thinking, wow, you got a lot of great value for 30, 30 bucks. Well, we're getting into the big boy books now. So, um, everything we picked up so far is in that $30 budget along with these books. So, um, this, is a, this is one that was just huge, huge for me. When I ran into this at Half Price Books, I was digging and I, and I saw this and I was like, oh my goodness, are you kidding me? And it's a really nice copy. I would put it at like an 8085, maybe with the press even. Yeah, like a solid 85 with a press. Um, just a really nice uh, looking book. It's a newsstand copy. Uh, you saw that I had issue two uh, that great cover of uh, Tim Drake as Robin. Now we have the actual first issue in this run. Uh, another great George Perez cover here. Um, and this is just a, a huge key book because it's the first appearance of Tim Drake. Uh, beautiful cover. First cover appearance too. Not as Robin, but little kid who lost his parents. He paid a pretty penny for it. He got it off eBay, he paid a pretty penny. It's a high grade copy and that's the one you're seeing here. I also picked a copy up at half price books. It's not as good as grade. I put the grade at about, you know, like a like an 8.580. But it's pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, in terms of its spine, it's, it's actually pretty decent. The, where it runs into issues are the corners and the edges. They're just a little bent. Again, with the press, it'd probably look a lot better, but I didn't put the front cover in. I just thought, okay, since it's a wraparound, I'll put my nice copy on the front and my beat-up copy on the back. So we picked up another issue of Marvel Comics Presents number 72. Picked this one up for 62 cents, half cover. Half of the dollar twenty-five cover. So that is another great... And this book is getting hot uh, with all the Wolverine spec. Um, people aren't just focusing on the you know Wolverine ones, but they're not focusing on the origin of Weapon X, um, which is this is the origin of Weapon X, first Weapon X story. Classic key book. Go pick it up. Go pick it up if you haven't. Um, go pick it up for 62 cents if you can as well, uh, like I did. Um, again, for what the, this is like a 70, $70 book, 50 to $70 book for 62 cents. Man, did we make out on that one. So, just loving this haul. I'm loving this haul. Now, um, this is a big one. This is a big one. And so when I saw this, 
I saw it in there for for uh, this was in there for um, basically half a cover. So what is this? I paid under a dollar fifty for this, and when I saw it, I was kind of worried about the condition. But it was in a bag and board, and the condition is super clean. Like, look. There's no bend, so I'm gonna take it out here so you can see it. There's no bend in this cover whatsoever, okay? And that's what you wanna look for, out for in a square gown. No bend, so this was obviously uh, a comic book collector who kept this book. I don't know how it ended up at Half Price Books, and I don't know how the staff didn't look up this book, but they put it in there with the rest of the junk, uh, <laughs> and I picked it up. So this was in there. Again, picked it up for a dollar fifty. This is a hundred dollar book. Okay, this is a hundred dollar book, <clears throat> especially in terms of it's great. And this is a first print. I verified. I opened it up, looked on the inside. You know, all the subsequent printings will mention subsequent printing. A first printing will not. So this is a first print. Batman: The Dark Knight Returns, um, or yeah, The Dark Knight Returns number two. Um, this is the second story in that four issue classic by Frank Miller. Amazing cover by by. If you compare all. Like I have the, um, I have number one right here. Number one, number one is a beautiful cover. I, I'd say number one is the best cover. But uh, this is a close second. So again, um, when you can pick this, it's a hundred dollar book up for a dollar fifty. Oh, you've won. And so I was just, I was just really. Um, kind of just waiting uh, it's been a few weeks since I picked this book up but I've been just waiting to share this uh, this moment with you guys um, yeah you're just not gonna run across a book like this at this price at this grade the grade is just really like the corners are sharp everything this is a high grade book this would come back again I you can't see through the the uh, case but it's it's so clean. It's a clean book, and uh, and um, I communicated with Ethan uh, to claim a book I saw on, so on Instagram, and that's this book. Now he had this book on Instagram for four dollars, and so I said, "Wow, that's a great price because this is a twenty-dollar book." So for four dollars, I was like, "I gotta get it," so I claimed it. And I told him, because we again, our family is going to be in that area. And I said, you know, can you hold it for me until I get there Sunday? He said, sure, no problem. And so, great guy. Uh, just, be, you know, again, wonderful shop. I, I plan to shop there, uh, you know, f um, for years to come. And, and, you know, when my son gets old enough, hopefully I'll take him down there and show him, like, what a real comic book shop is all about um but anyway um so go check out destiny city comics in downtown tacoma okay now i got to the shop and i was already i had my money i was about to pay four dollars and ethan is at the counter luckily and he's like okay this is you know a dollar ten i was like what he's like yeah dollar ten i was like get out of here He's like, yeah. Um, and, you know, he was pretty forth. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the book from the cover. This is like a 9 0 easy. But on the back, there's a, a crease, he said. There's a kind of like a large crease in the back. Didn't care whatsoever. I was like, that that's not an issue for me. So, um, again, this is probably with a crease. We're talking about like probably a 7.5. Um, maybe even an 8 
just a beautiful looking book, but um, picked it up for a dollar. Marvel Comics presents Weapon X number 79. This cover is just, and it's a key book, but the, the cover is what makes this an amazing book. Um, got the headgear there, the Weapon X headgear. And what makes this entire run and story just, um, I've pretty much got every issue in this run now, except for like maybe the three, th like two or three of the last ones. Um, everything from 72 through 80 I have now. I think I'm just missing like 81 and 83 or something like that. But um, just was so happy to pick this up. Again, $25 book, picked it up for a dollar. Um, that was the other, this was the second of three books I picked up at Disney City Comics. We'll get to what that third book is. All right. And uh, pick up Jim Lee stuff. Pick up more Jim Lee stuff because I know Russ at Mill Geek Comics had Jim Lee stuff in the 50 cent bin. So just picked up three books there for 50 cents. Pick this one up for 50 cents. It's a great grifter cover. Wildcats number 13. Love that grifter cover. Um, picked up another copy. This is our third copy of X-Men Annual Number 1. Um, nice, clean copy. Picked it up for 50 cents. Uh, and picked this one up for a dollar. So, and this is a dollar, it's a dollar comic, but it's um, Justice League Number 1. Didn't have this one. Uh, I don't know, I don't know if I'll... I mean, I, we will pick it up if we run into it, but I just want to get the cover up, just get it off the list, because it's just been a cover I've been wanting for a long time, and uh, never had a chance. So, you know, kind of spent, what, $2 on at Mill Geek, nothing big, um, just decided to pick up, um, you know, some Jim Lee books, and then after... After Mill Geek is when we went to um, Half Price Books, and I found all those like keys. I just went over like the the Marvel Comics Presents number seventy two. I found I found also the uh, um, oh, I found I found a book that we'll be getting to uh, <laughs> that uh, I haven't covered yet, but. Um, turn of events because when you run into thing like you're not planning to spend money but you go when you hop into have price books and you find those books you just have to get them so this is another book I found at have price books uh, got it for 50 cents um, and this is actually uh, uh, because it's a reprint it's not it doesn't have a lot of value it's a DC Comics Essentials so and it's a dollar book. I think it's right around there in terms of its value. But this cover is like uh, one of the variant covers in the Hush Run that's worth a lot. Um, so just a reprint of the cover kind of scratches that itch um, in terms of having it in the collection. We have the cover in the collection. So um, anytime you can pick up a Jim Lee uh, Hush. So again, this is a 608 variant. Anytime you can pick up the a 608 variant for 50 cents, that's a win. So I'm gonna pick this up for uh, 50 cents. Just absolutely ecstatic about that. Now I picked up half price books uh, a while back. I picked this book up. And at this DC to Comics, we found another copy sitting there for a dollar. Really clean copy. I believe this is the copy we got. Clean, minty. I just, Ethan had just placed it in the front of the box. You could tell no one had really taken it out or dug through it. It's just beautiful condition. Mint. I'm sitting there raw, unbagged, unboarded. I just delicately pulled it out, looked over the grade. Beautiful grade high grade, I would put it around like a 9.0, 9.2. Well, check one of the Omega Red covers off the list. Pick this one up for 68 cents, or 62 cents, sorry. Yeah, sometimes half-price books 
price this stuff out. So this was a dollar fifty, but glad to pick it up for a dollar fifty. Dollar uh, fifty again, high grade copy, nine oh copy. The spine is really clean. Uh, probably, I mean, one of the best covers in the run. You could argue. I just love this the, the, the number one cover. So really, nothing could touch that. But in terms of like other top covers, this this is definitely up there. And um, as you know, I have um, some books at um, at CGC waiting to get graded. Uh, I have a Superman 204 and a Batman 608 second print, the, the mirror images, signed by Jim Rooney, personalized by Jim Rooney. And that, when we get that book, those two book backs, those are really the two best books in my collection. And um, I consider that, uh, yeah, just my two favorite books. And uh, I don't think anything will ever topple that just because of the experience of having met Jim Lee to sign them, having him kind of personalize them based off my request. Uh, I don't think those books will ever be challenged in terms of like favorites. Um, and the other third book we got in that signing, <laughs> which I was kind of regretting uh, in hindsight, I I mean, but it's, if it comes back a 9.8, I will not regret it. But if it comes back anything below a 9.8, I will kind of be disappointed. Because I think there's a lot of other books I could have had signed by Jim Lee. And not necessarily his first X-Men um, being one of them. Because the cover isn't all that, all that great and whatnot. But anyway, it is what it is. I can't go back in time and change that. So we do have an X-Men. 248, his first book on X-Men, his first cover, um, coming back from CGC on the signature event. And uh, having said that, now we have the second print, the elusive second print. We've added this. And uh, this is a pretty clean book. Um, the spine is really clean. No spine ticks. It's just dull. It's like yeah, the, the I, I would say it's off-white, but the corners are sharp. That corner is a little, little dull. That one's very sharp. This one the corner's a little dull, a little dull there. Uh, overall, high-grade copy. I put this in the 90 range. Um, but we have it now. We have the second print. So I'm pretty kind. You know, all these sort of major books, Jim Lee books, we're slowly ticking them off. And to be able to get this particular copy for half of cover, 68 cents, for a second print to the first Jim Lee, this is like, man, you just can't beat that. You cannot beat that. Oh. <clears throat> we'll go over the story of what this book is. And uh, as I'm kind of opening it up, this book which just came in the mail today, and I purchased over the weekend. Purchased, purchased this on Sunday, actually. And um, what's what happened was um, I have these notifications on Mercari set up. Like I have a no notification for whenever Jim Lee sign books come in. Whenever Jim Lee, you know, like all Jim Lee books, basically any Jim Lee book that comes in, I have a notification for Peach Momoko books, Peach, uh, signed Peach Momoko books as well, uh, like Daredevil 16, Daredevil uh, 241, um, Spider Man 100. These are the kind of like books I have, um, some X Men books as well really just a lot of books and oftentimes when things come in I'll look at the price I'll be like mm, okay they're oftentimes you know like you know they're selling at book or just a little under book um, which you know doesn't necessarily catch my eye or interest um, but this book did 
This book definitely caught my interest, and that was because uh, this guy did a horrible job with the packaging, but I kind of was expecting it because, again, he's not a comic guy. And when you deal with people who aren't comic people, they just, they do stuff like this. So he sent it in a manila envelope wrapped in bubble wrap in a box, which is okay, as long as the book is... Oh, but it's in a... Okay, nice. You put it in a... You put it in one of these sleeves, these, uh... Okay, so what we have here looks to be... It's not a 9.8 for sure, but it's definitely high grade. 9 copy. Now, what are we looking at here? What can you can you can you tell by the cover what you're looking at? That's right. It's a signed copy of the last X-Men cover. This is the last uh, variant cover that we were looking to add to the collection. We finally added now. I have Psylocke in my in my collection. <sighs> Thank you. Um, but the reason we got this book. And again, it was, um, I offered the guy $135, and he accepted, um, which I'm very thankful for. So, um, I'm just glad the comic's here without, here now without any, without, you know, any issue. I'm gonna have to move it into a bag and board and put it in a, in a top loader, but, um, yeah, we've got two signatures on this book. Jim Lee, old 90s, uh, old school signature, and Stan the Man, Stan Lee signature. So this book, I was hoping to get, so basically I talked to my wife, I said, hey look, there's a book. It's selling for, the, the guy posted for 180, um, I'm gonna put it in offer, like a just a basement floor offer, because the guy had a setting where you could send offers. And the base offer you could send him was 135. It was set at 135. I'm gonna send him the base offer, 135. If he accepts, I want to pick the book up. So my wife said, "Yeah, okay. Just you're not gonna get comics till next year." I said, "That's fine." So I got the advance, um, and I. Placed, I, you know, placed that offer, placed that, uh, sent him that message, and I basically told him, hey, look, look, you know, I just got an advance from my wife. Um, it's really with tax and shipping, it's really more than I can afford right now, and I was just kind of hoping the guy would, would, would do it because he's not a comic guy. Again, this is the like the only comic he had in his entire little shop there of like just weird toys and um, like old Star Wars toys, old Star Wars cards and old like action figures, like action figures I've never seen before. But um, I thought, you know, yeah, this guy's probably gonna, he's probably looking to move this book. You know, he probably got it uh, signed or some, I don't know how he got came across this book, but he's had it for a long time in his, just kept in a great condition in this uh, beat up the COA there um, Jim Lee 90 COA which we'll take out and take a look at but um, you know what I mean like um, he was looking to move it so in that and I don't know why more people don't offer it's a Stanley signature folks if, even though it's not a CGC like signature like you can tell what a Stanley signature looks like if you looked at them long enough. That's a beautiful Stanley signature right there on Gambit's arm. Um, so happy, exhilarated, just joyous. Uh, all the all the happy synonyms that that you can come up with. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, that's it. That's our 37 book haul. Again, we spent, I spent a lot on this book, then $30 on the rest of the books. 
we picked up a lot of key books though. Okay, picked up a lot of key Jim Lee books. In this haul, we picked up that Batman. Again, the Batman. Uh, the the X-Men second print. The X-Men second print. This was just a huge haul, so um, again, I think it's a good, uh, this is probably going to be the last haul of the year, because again, I have to really detach myself from like social media and all the, I, I'm pretty much going to just stop going to Half Price Books. Um, half Price Books is... I do pick up a lot of value there, but if I keep going, I'm going to find stuff. It's going to be my other Jim Lee signature book right there, along with my Sanley signature book. And again, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.